안녕하세요. Hello guys. In this video, I'm going to show you some of a oil form conjugations. A oil form is used the most by Korean people. It is friendly and also polite. Contrast to nida form, which is very polite, formal, and official. Korean learners can use this form to anyone, showing respect. This time, I will show you how to conjugate Korean verbs that its last letter of the stem does not have any final consonant. Here we go! This is a verb and infinitive, kada, which means to go. Ka is the stem and Ta is the root of the verb. Let's look at the vowel of ka. The vowel is a. When the vowel of the last letter of the stem is a, there is no change of the stem. All we need to do is to remove ta and place yo instead. So kada becomes kayo. The next one is oda, which means to come. The vowel is o. Let's cut off ta first. In this case, the vowel o becomes wa. And we put yo next to the letter changed. So oda becomes wa yo. Next verb is 배우다, which means to learn. Make sure we only check the last letter of the stem, not the others. The last one is 우, and it has vowel 우. Cut off 다 first. In this case, the vowel 우 becomes 워. And we put 요 next to it. So, 배우다 becomes 배워요. Next one is 쓰다, which means to write. Actually, this kind of verb is irregular, but I will talk about this with more details in the next videos. Well then, the vowel we are looking for is 으. Cut off 다 first. In this case, the vowel 으 becomes 어. And we put 요 next to it. Therefore, 쓰다 becomes 써요. Finally, the last one is 가르치다, which means to teach. The last letter of the stem is 치, which has the vowel E. Cut off 다, and the vowel E becomes 여. We put 여 next to the stem as the last step, so 가르치다 becomes 가르쳐요. Here are some verbs we can practice together. You can pause the video for a while and guess the answers. Okay, ready? These are the verbs conjugated into a oil forms. 자다 becomes 자요. 보다 becomes 봐요. 주다 becomes 줘요. 슬프다 becomes 슬퍼요. And 기다리다 becomes 기다려요. In addition, I have two more to tell you. The first is 하다. Korean has many verbs with 하다, which means to do. The thing is 하다 always becomes 해요. The second one is 이다, 
which means to be. Its conjugation depends on the nouns it follows. If the last letter of the noun has a final consonant, it becomes ieo. If it does not, it becomes ieo. I hope this video helped you a lot. If you have any question or things to say, feel free to put some comments. Well, until next time. 다음에 봐요.